Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Liz of Chicago Law Luxury Makeup. In today's video, we are going to be playing with the brand new Tom Ford Soleil Neige Collection. I picked up the eyeshadow, the blush, and a lip gloss. So we're going to be using all of those today to create a full face of Tom Ford. So if you're curious to hear my thoughts on these brand new products, keep watching. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the brand new Tom Ford Soleil Collection. I picked up the eyeshadow, the highlighter, and one of the lip glosses. So we're going to be using those today to create a full face of Tom Ford. I absolutely love Tom Ford makeup. It is one of my top favorite makeup brands. I absolutely love his products. I think that they are phenomenal. So I was very excited to be able to pick up this brand new cream blush and highlighter, as well as this beautiful, beautiful eyeshadow quad. So we're going to unbox all of those and then we'll do a full face of Tom Ford. This is the Soleil Neige eyeshadow quad in black diamond. Now this is how mine came. It did come in the dust bag. However, I did not get a plastic covering. So I don't know if mine just came without it or if none of them came. That was just surprising to me because most of his eyeshadow quads do come with that plastic covering. But this one did not. I do think that this color story is very, very beautiful. There was also a blush and highlight duo in shade high altitude. I think that this looks absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. The blush is just it's perfection. I absolutely love this shade. I cannot wait to try it. And this is a cream to satin formula. So I am very, very excited to try it. And last but not least, there were also three lip glosses. I did pick up one. The shade that I got was Pinnacle. This shade reminds me of one of my favorite, favorite lip glosses from Chanel that I absolutely love. So I wanted to go ahead and pick this one up compare it because I do think it's going to be very similar and I think I'm going to absolutely love this lip gloss. To start the full face of Tom Ford, I'm going to start with this Tom Ford primer. This is the Shade and Illuminate Soft Radiance Primer. I think that this is a beautiful, beautiful primer and I am going to be using a more matte foundation today and I do think that this primer looks absolutely beautiful underneath a matte foundation. I haven't picked that primer up in a really long time and for really no reason whatsoever. I just haven't. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Architecture Soft Matte Foundation and I have shade 4.7 Cool Beige. So that is what the foundation looks like. It is a beautiful matte foundation. I absolutely love it. It's got a thinner consistency, but it still gives amazing, amazing coverage. When I tend to think of thinner foundations, I think that I'm not going to get the coverage that I want. That is not the case with this foundation. This foundation definitely gives medium to full coverage. For concealer today, I'm going to be using the Traceless Soft Matte Concealer, and I have shade 100 Silk. Now, I am going to speed through these complexion products because I have done several, several full face of Tom Ford videos. And I know we just really want to see this new Soleil collection. I go in with the shade and illuminate contour and I have shade intensity two. And I am applying this with the Tom Ford shade and illuminate brush, but I will blend it out with my favorite blending brush, which is the Sonia G Sheer Buffer. For powder, this is the brand new Soft Matte Blurring Powder. I do really, really like this powder, and I have shade Ivory Fawn. For a bronzer today, I'm going to go in with the Soleil Glow Bronzer, and this is in shade Terra. And now I'm going to lastly prime my eyes. This is the Emotion Proof Eye Primer. This I really, really like, but I think you can only get it at a few retailers. I'm pretty sure it has been discontinued, although I'm not really certain why. I really, really liked it. I thought it was a great, great primer. So here is the brand new Blush and Highlighter Duo in High Altitude. I'm going to start with the blush and we're going to swatch that. 
that is beautiful. It's very, very sheer, but I think it's going to look beautiful on the face. And the highlighter is very much what I expected. There's not much color there at all. I think when you apply it to your face, you're just going to see like an enhanced glow. Very, very natural. Now I do have the original Jane the Luminate contour and it comes with a highlight and I want to just compare and see how they look and feel. The difference is very, very subtle, but I think the one that comes with the contour is a little bit more white and less sheer, but that's being extremely, extremely nitpicky. So I'm going to go ahead and take this Sonia G brush and pick up a little bit of the blush and we'll tap it in. That is very, very sheer. I think it's really, really pretty, but it is very sheer. So I think if you were looking for a light makeup, no makeup look, you would like this. If I was wearing this with my everyday makeup, I would definitely top this with a powder blush just to intensify it because it is just a little bit too sheer for me. Now I did go back in and build it up a little bit. I do think that it is buildable. I don't see that my face looks patchy or unnatural at all. I think it looks really, really pretty. I think that that looks absolutely beautiful. I really, really love that. That is beautiful. Now, it is a little bit sticky, a little bit tacky. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put the highlighter on the top of it, and then we'll see how sticky or tacky it still feels after I put on the eyeshadow. So I'm going to use a BK Beauty 106 to tap in some of this highlight. Now, Tom Ford describes this blush and highlighter duo as recreating the natural flush of skin kissed by the solar light atop an alpine summit. The sheer highlight draws light to optically lift facial high points while the blush shade adds dimensional rosy color. And I have to say that that description fits this perfectly. I think that this looks beautiful. Very, very natural flushed cheeks. I'm really, really impressed. For me to make it wearable, it is going to have to dry down just a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch this new eyeshadow quad and I will use the eyeshadow to create an eye look and then we'll come back and see how these cheeks are feeling. So here is that eyeshadow quad. I'm going to start up here with this light pink shade and this is a matte and it is so, so creamy. It feels so good. And then you have a glitter our like metallic topper. This feels like a satin. And then last is a matte plum. So that is the color story that we are working with. I think it looks very, very beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and start with that light pink shade. And I'm just going to pick up a little bit with a Sonia G Classic Crease. And I'm going to take it into the crease, but pretty much all over the eye, just using it as like a base shade. This matte is very, very pretty. It's very, very like cream to powder. It feels very creamy when I went to swatch it, but when I'm applying it, it's very, very powdery and very silky, very smooth. And take that same brush and go into the brown shade and take that into the crease. I did see a lot of people comparing this to the quad from last year. I do have last year, so I will go ahead and get that out and do a few swatch comparisons at the end. Go into that plum shade. Now that's pretty deep. I definitely feel like I need to do a little bit more blending with this shade. So I do feel like I had to blend that dark plum shade 
a little bit more than normal. I felt like when I first applied it, it was a little bit patchy. I think that the eye look looks really beautiful right now. But like I said, it did take a little bit of work and I did have to blend quite a lot for that outer shade. So now I'm gonna go into this glitter kind of sparkle topper. and Take that on the bottom. Wow, that is intense. I was not expecting it to give me that amount of payoff. That's really, really pretty. Just taking just a little bit more of that dark plum on the outer corner. Take a pencil brush and take that brown shade and go under the eye. Here's the I Look Before Eyeliner Mascara. I really, really like it. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about this color story. I think it is beautiful. I really, really think that it is beautiful. And I think that that glitter topper shade, which I normally do not like, I think really does bring this eye look to life. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my eyes with the brand new Tom Ford eye pencil, which I do absolutely love. And then I do have a little sample of the Tom Ford Badass Mascara that I'm gonna be using today as well. Here's the finished eye look. I think that it is absolutely beautiful. I really, really do. I would love to hear what you guys think. Did you guys pick this up? Now I will say that the price of these eyeshadows has increased. I think that this eyeshadow is now $100. So it is definitely a pricey, pricey eyeshadow. I would definitely recommend waiting to get it during the Sephora sale or some other department store sale because $100 is a little bit steep. Now, I do want to compare last year's. So here is last year's. This is Luminaire de Hither, and this is this year's. So you can see that there are definitely definitely some similarities. I can see right off the bat why people would think that they are very, very similar. They do look very, very similar, but I'm going to go ahead and swatch them so I can show you guys the differences. So you can see this year's is more pink. Last year's is more ivory. Last year's glitter is a little bit more brown or taupe. And last year's did actually have another silver shade, like two glitters. So even this year's compared to that shade, they are different. And then the dark matte is a brown versus the plum. So definitely similar, but I do think that they are different. And I think once applied to the eye, they would give a completely different eye look. Now for the lip gloss, there were three new shades that came out in this lip gloss. And like I said, I picked up shade Pinnacle which I think just looks beautiful. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to try it. Before I try it, though, I want to swatch the Chanel lip gloss. This is shade number 119, which is my favorite, favorite Chanel lip gloss. I have repurchased this one so many times, and every time I wore it, I would get compliments on it. So, I mean, this is just my shade. I want to see how close they are. They're a little bit different. So the Chanel is a little bit more pink, and the Tom Ford's a little bit more brown. I still think it's going to be absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with the brand new Tom Ford lip liner, which again, I also absolutely, absolutely love. Highly, highly recommend the new lip liners from Tom Ford. They are phenomenal. So now I will go in with the new lip gloss. That is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And I do have another Tom Ford lip gloss that I want to do a real quick swatch comparison to. This is Honey Coraled. So that one is probably closer to the Chanel than this Tom Ford's. I am just loving, loving that lip gloss. I think it's gorgeous. 
So I'm going to go back in and feel the cheeks. They are definitely still tacky. If I was going to be wearing this blush and highlighter duo, I would definitely need to be going for that look, that dewy, flushed look. I think it is beautiful. I really, really do. But I think there's a time and a place for it. I, I don't think I'd be reaching for this to wear in my everyday makeup when I go to work, just because I don't like that tacky feeling on my cheeks. Now, if I did want to wear it to work, I would definitely put some powder on top of it. <laughs> I would go over with a finishing powder and then add a powder, blush, or highlighter on top of it. What do you guys think of the new Tom Ford Soleil collection? So I went ahead and put my hair down because that is the true test. That is the reason I don't like sticky or balmy face products is because I feel like my hair sticks to it. And I do feel like my hair is sticking <laughs> to my cheeks with this blush and highlighter. That completes today's video using the brand new Tom Ford Soleil Neige collection. Let me know what you guys think. I absolutely love the eyeshadow. I think that it is very, very beautiful. I think that the blush is beautiful. I just would need to tweak it a little bit in order for me personally to wear it on a daily basis. And this lip gloss is hands down the star of the show. I think that it is absolutely, absolutely beautiful. I did see that this collection has started to show up at other retailers, so I will make sure and link all of those retailers down below if you're interested in picking up this collection. And I do know that it is at Sephora and the Sephora sale is going to be starting in just a few weeks. So if you are a Sephora Rouge member and you can save 20%, I would definitely hold off and pick it up during the sale. But let me know what you guys think. I would love to hear. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy, and I will see you in my next video.